Hey folks, this is Jeff. I thought I'd give you a little update on my solar project where I'm at to date. Basically what I've been able to accomplish up to this point is complete the AC wiring inside my electrical room. Now, I don't have power coming into the building. I have some panels on the outside, but I have not tied the building into my main electrical equipment that feeds from the utility and also feeds back to my house. That'll be another, another weekend, uh, possibly next weekend. From a breaker panel on the outside, which will be my utility main panel, I feed in to, to this panel, which is going to be my inverter AC input panel. So power will come in from the grid, feed out of these breakers to an inverter. Each inverter has a double pole 50 amp breaker. Now, it's important when you're doing something like this that you keep the L1 and L2 consistent throughout the whole project. And that's important because of some bypass stuff that will happen a little later, we'll talk about in a minute. So black, red, but when it comes through this breaker, it switches, puts this bus bar on red and this bus bar on black. So my wires are red, black, red, black, red, black. The inverter does not take a neutral. So there are no neutrals running out of this panel, even though there is a neutral inside the panel right here. And I need to put a piece of white tape on there and I got it right here. I'll do that in a minute. From there, I run out into this little wire duct, and then I come up to each of the inverter disconnect boxes. Two AC disconnects. This is the DC side. This is important. Use AC breakers on the AC side, DC breakers on the DC side. And this is a surge protection device, commonly called an SPD, which I will also be enhancing with some other devices later. Inside all my disconnects, I'm black red. All five inverters are wired black red. And then this wires into my inverter input. Uh, the other day when I was wiring the top of the top of the breakers or disconnects rather. These I'm not using these as breakers. I'm using them as disconnects. I didn't have I couldn't find my red tape, so these aren't red, but they are consistent. I've already owned this all out: black, red, left to left, right to right. So that'll keep me black, red. So the output from the inverter when it's in operation, the power will come out hit the top of this disconnect and then feed back out where it hits back into this wire way and runs back into this inverter output panel. Now as you noticed, you may have noticed there's no white wires, which is commonly used for a neutral because this inverter does not use a neutral and it does not generate a neutral. It's strictly 240. Here in the United States, we use 120-240 with a neutral as a common point for the 120. 
So I'm having to do some things here to generate that neutral. Each inverter powers into a breaker. The breakers are coated black red because the bus bars into this breaker, which I modified this panel to accept this breaker. This is a uh, shunt trip breaker, which I will wire in to another device at a later time. Black, straight through black. Red, straight through red. So that puts this opposite of this. But as long as we stay with our proper colors, we won't get our L1, L2s mixed up. Power feeds in here. These breakers will be on. It'll feed out. This breaker will be on. It'll come, it'll come through here, right down through there. Follows that and comes over to this isolation transformer. Now this is a 240, 480 slash 120, 240 volt transformer. I've changed the bus bars on it so that it's operates on the high side at 240 volts instead of 480. It came configured at 480, but I've configured it for 240. And so I'll have 240 coming in and I'll have 120, 240 going out. So I'm picking up my neutral here and it runs up into my load panel. And here I'm generating a neutral through this transformer. And since it's the first neutral in a panel from where it's been derived, I've also bonded the neutral to ground. So the ground and the neutral are tied together in this panel. They aren't tied together in these other panels. For one, uh, this is the second panel from the utility neutral, which is on the outside. So on the outside panel, the ground and neutral are tied together. When it comes in here, the ground and neutrals are separate. So here's my neutral, here's my ground. And this ground wire here runs to the outside panel where it is tied into the neutral there. And this particular panel, which is the inverter output, I don't have a neutral at all. In fact, I don't even have a reference to ground because the inverter doesn't uh, generate a neutral. Except, and I'll explain that later, uh, there are occasions when I would have a reference to, to ground. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. Got a little more tidying up to do. All these special control wires here have connectors on them. So not, I wasn't able to put those in conduit, but I have some more of this uh, duct, wire duct that I'll be installing across here to tidy that up a little bit. Uh, all the, line, the top side of the inverter disconnect boxes are wired in, including the DC side. So my PV panel wiring is here. And my battery wiring is here. Uh, I'll talk about the grow watt in, in another video. But I don't have the DC wiring coming into the breaker box yet. Into the uh, disconnect box. Now this box that's sitting on the floor is going to be a junction box that runs. It's going to be mounted up off the floor uh, onto this wall. And my PV array wires, when I get those put in, it will go down through this floor, run out 350 feet uh, to where my PV array is going to be. And then it will transition from that underground wire back into number 10 wire and then feed in here. So this will be my PV disconnect. The fuses for the PV will be out at the PV array. And then this is the battery disconnect. Uh, I didn't have time to do that today, but there'll be two batteries, a positive and a negative, two battery wires running out and then connecting to this six bank, 48 volt battery bank. 
well, nominal 48 votes, but it actually puts out 51 votes. And they'll be tying in into this bus, and then I've got to tie the batteries into the bus as well. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's coming along. I think I've got, I don't know, six or seven days in once I got the container in, uh, set up in position, probably six or seven days with me and a, uh, a friend helping me to stud out the walls, mount the inside panels, the outside panels, and uh, get this wiring done. Still not quite through, probably on the inside here another day or two to get this wiring completed and then I'll be finished in here and everything will be on the outside. So that's kind of where I am.